Adam with HTS Ag, out here putting on some anhydrous. I thought I would give you a quick rundown of the InCommand Go 16 and some of the really cool features that it has. Some of the features I really like on the Go 16 is this new layout. I can zoom out on this map, even when I'm in that perspective view, or I can simply hit the button, zoom out and see the whole field. We're making good time here, uh, nearly done with this field today, so we'll be uh, wrapping up with the anhydrous pretty quick. Also, DisplayCast has a, a big facelift here. This tab over here at the bottom right, I can toggle over and I can see what's happening with the planter that's running at the same time that we're planting here. It looks like he may be filling that planter up. It's not actively planting right now. But in addition to that, you can see the aerial image background. That's not new. We can see the timber and all the different things going on in this field. But what is new is that that still stays there even when I'm in this perspective view or this overhead view and you can scroll around, pan around on that screen and see what's going on there. The steering controls have also got a nice facelift with the Go 16. You can see I'm running Smart Path over here right now, but a little bit ago I was running an AB line. And with that AB line, we've got these tabs so I can scroll down and I've got Turn Path in there. And what a great feature that is. It was really uh, nice the way that that feature worked on the InCommand 1200, but that has been taken to the next level with the Go 16 and I can really get a lot of perspective of what's going on. If I were to run that line, of course, I'm not run across the field this way, but you can see where it's gonna turn around. You could got a little icon on the steering wheel, a little a steering wheel icon there, and just a lot of information, and the buttons over here. If I need to hit the button in the middle of the field to turn around or to cycle, they're very easy to hit. They're near the edge of the screen, and they're large, so it uh, works really well. You can see down here now, the planter that I was talking about earlier is up and rolling, and I can see in real time how that planter is rolling through the field and, and what how it's performing as it goes across the field. Or I can toggle right back over to look at the rate and what's going on with my anhydrous bar. Just had an alarm pop up that reminded me of another cool feature I really like with the InCommand Go 16. So up here in the top corner, you can see container level is at 20%. I'm putting on anhydrous and you can see the little bar graph that shows how full down here. I've got information about how full my tank is and just how nice this, uh, this layout is. So I can get rid of that alarm by clicking there, but it doesn't pop up in the middle of the screen when I'm trying to see what I might be working on or what I'm doing. Now I can just touch down here on the wrench and go to containers because I'm heading over to get a new tank right now and refill that tank. Some of the other features on the InCommand Go 16 that are really beneficial. You can see zoomed into this perspective view, I've still got that aerial image background showing up on my screen. Just helps you give a little more perspective of the field and what's going on in there. We can zoom in and out on that screen real quick and easy or change views real quick and easy. I can change to that view I'm looking at. We can zoom out and see the whole field or I can zoom right back into that perspective view that I was looking at before. Also with DisplayCast now, I've got a tab down here but I could click over and see the planner running and see exactly how it's performing and have that on a tab right next to me instead of on a line across the top of the screen where it's a little bit intrusive. This is tucked out of the way. And of course, all of these tabs, the whole tab can be hidden off to the side. We can pull out and look at just the information we wanna see. And we can really take advantage of that real estate that we've got on the screen. As far as steering goes, turn path has gotta be one of my favorite features. With the InCommand Go 16, we've got some additional uh, large buttons that are easy to get to. There's the tone telling me that it's going to turn. As we get to the end of the field, my job is simply to raise the anhydrous bar up, let it turn around, and put it back down. There are my sections have shut off. Tractor's turning around on its own. It lines back up. I put the anhydrous bar back down. And we're on to the next pass.